I am Vijay Yaltandi, a specialist in infectious diseases and public health. The first is to keep the air clean because COVID-19 is spread through the air. If anybody who has a COVID-19 infection sneezes or coughs, there is released into the air simply millions of pathogens. However, fortunately, these viruses in droplets will fall to the ground in less than four feet. So keeping yourself out of the reach of contaminated air would be most helpful. That's why we talk about social distancing. The other thing to do is to use a mask. However, we are running out of masks now. But a simple piece of cloth covering the nose and the mouth will also help. So keep the air clean, stay away from contaminated air. The next very simple thing to do is to keep hands clean because this virus can be transmitted through the hands. So don't shake hands with anybody. And remember that anybody who is infected, if they are touching their nose or mouth or eyes with their hands, they are contaminating their hands. So simply keeping the hands clean is a good way to prevent the COVID-19 infection. The next is to keep the environment clean because when somebody has a COVID-19 infection and in particular when they are sneezing or coughing, they are releasing into their surroundings a lot of virus and this virus can contaminate surfaces and probably will remain on those surfaces for up to three to four days. So just cleaning the environment with a simple cleanser like soap and water or for that matter any household antiseptic is fine. If you have a surface that is very delicate and you cannot use things like household bleach or things like quaternary ammonium compounds, then 70% alcohol will also work. For very delicate things like your own cell phone or a computer, use 70% alcohol. And that's all we need to do. Three very simple things. Make sure the air is clean. Make sure your hands are clean. Make sure the environment is clean. And most importantly, remember, be kind to anybody who has a COVID-19 infection. They are worried. You must treat them with kindness and care. But at the same time, make sure you protect yourself by inhaling only clean air, keeping your hands clean, and frequently washing your hands because you may have touched a surface that is contaminated. Above all, be safe. We faced a similar situation in the 1918 pandemic of influenza all throughout the world where 50 to 100 million people died. And all of these simple interventions worked in those days because at that time also, we did not have any medication or vaccine against influenza. We faced a similar situation in the 1950s epidemic of poliomyelitis. And once again, social distancing, personal cleanliness and hygiene worked very well to control the epidemic. We can also control this epidemic using these very simple interventions. So please be safe.